Now, we are going to see user administrator that is uh, for security purpose. Where we are creating usernames and passwords. So let's see how to create this. First, go to the WinCC Explorer. Here we are having user administrator. This window. You can see this by default user administrators are okay. Right. It opens to user administrator. Okay. In this, you can see by default is a user administrator. Okay. You can simply click on this. This we're having some groups. Okay. When you expand this, we're having administrator group, and in that case, one administrator is there available by default. So when you select this administrator, you should authorization. So here there is an authorization concept here, means uh, for which uh, process or for which command okay, you can use uh, you are authorized for. Okay, like the value input, process control, picture editing, change feature, etc. Okay. So these are up to here showing up to 21. If you want to add more uh, access or authorizations, you can go to user administrator. In this user as administrator, you can see at the bottom rank authorization levels. Maximum is 1002. Okay. So you can see this number 18 is there, right? Or 1000, 1001, 1002, like that. So I want to create the next double click here. Give you some number like 19. Next one I want to create for some command like start or something. Okay. Or for special command. Okay. Like that, that uh, you can create up to <clears throat> thousand authorizations. Okay. And for our understanding, I'm giving as a start. Okay. So when you go to the authorization here. Administrator, you can see number 19 is also added. Okay. Now, here we have to create what usernames and passwords. For that, you can create a groups here. Right click on user administrator, new group. Just like we are having manager one, okay, manager, I'm sorry, manager group. Okay. One more group like engineer, and one more group like Okay. That is, you can add different groups, okay? At different level, like assistant manager, assistant engineer, okay, senior engineer, like that, you can create many groups. But in those groups, okay, in all the groups, okay, you can create up to 128 users only. You can total application, you can create only 128 users, okay? So 10 managers, 15 engineers, like that, you can create up to 128. Now, I create one user here, but I click on manager, new user, okay, so my manager one, okay, so manager one, okay, when you select this, it is asking for the authorization, means what your manager can do, for example, I want to do change picture only, means I just want to change the pictures, okay, manager don't, don't need to do anything much, for example, I'm taking only one authorization, so you can take many authorizations, for this person, okay, <clears throat> what he can do in the process, okay, just like for engineer, okay, one more, new user, okay, engineer one, okay, this is a username, okay, for this engineer, say I select a uh, process controlling, okay, and one more, right click, new user. For this operator, say uh, I want to use as start or stop command for motor start stop. Okay. Now we are going to create usernames and passwords. So select manager here. In this, you can see for manager group, there is a manager one username. It is asking for the 
password. You can select this here with a password. Okay. I'm creating manager one. Then engineer Pro operator. Then we can select. Say okay. Now, <clears throat> after creating usernames and passwords, I minimize this. I just say auto save because we don't have any save button here. We have to save. Let's go this one. Then, from graphic designer, I go to the buttons. Okay, buttons window. Here we have to create two buttons for login and so here, before that, I want to give the access, means uh, for motor. Okay, when I click motor, okay, I want to change the picture, right? So, here we are having some uh, action here. Okay. 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 Then we have to go to the properties, select the motor button, go to the properties, go to miscellaneous. In this, you can see there is a authorization and here under static we are having change feature also so we double click here authorization we are having this all the authorization listed in the user admission right so from here you can select what authorization you can assign to the person okay so i will say for uh, three four percent i have assigned change picture so all this three four person can need to log in and then can do only this thing okay so I need to assign this authorization here. This name, that change feature. Okay. So that is for motor two. But this also I'm selecting as change feature. Okay. For alarm. But this also same thing for then like that. Okay. So time to. Okay. Now <clears throat> this is one thing. Okay. Now I save this. Next for uh, login and operation. Like. Uh, the motor in this first window where i'm starting stop button so for start button when i press i want to log in first okay i want to do some authorization okay for start for press so i double click on authorization the properties okay select the start button go to properties in this miscellaneous you get authorization okay double click on this you get this list so here we are having uh, start or stop command. So the start stop command we selected for operator, right? For stop also, same thing I'm doing. That means only operator can log in and we can only do this start or stop. Okay, now I save this. Next, other example like. Uh, some and level this from one trip okay and this one more picture is here and now so we are to operate any uh, value here right it's like for slider or any object number if you want to give we need some authorization okay so for this slider i want to give authorization okay so the test ladder, go to properties, the miscellaneous, we are having authorization for process controlling. Process controlling we are given for engineering. Okay. So this I have selected here. Okay. And for this also, if you want to do the same, do the same. Okay. Then save this. Now for manager, we are given only picture change. And for uh, engineer regular process controller and for operator regular start stop. Okay, so that example is good. Now for login and logout, okay, we need a 
window, login window, right? You should ask your username and password. For that, we are having a script here. Okay, you need to write a script by using two buttons. One is login and login. So take one login button, and that is buttons here. Okay, you can rename this here. Okay. So select the button, go to the object properties. Then when you press the button, right? So go to the events, mouse, press left. See action. Here we have to write a script. Okay. Yes, you have to do a bracket, empty bracket, not zero. Action is left. See action. Yes. Here you need to change only this value. Get this thing and start logging. Thank you. more thing is like uh, if you want to display which person has logged in if you want to display that also you can go to the open picture okay. you can get some static text okay. and if you don't want to show it here and you want to show that to the window itself okay. then also you can take it and the next so go to the buttons So here select this static text, go to the properties and the font and have text. Okay. This text we have to make it dynamic, means we have to display some name. So go to a dynamic here. We have to take add the current user tag name. So from there, right click, go to tag. Okay. And this you can see list of all tags or this actually internal tag. 
okay, which is already created okay, in Siemens NCC. So select user, current user, aggregate, current user, that's it, that aggregate factor. So okay. that's it. Insert this one. Now, I just I go to the one project and aggregate. You can see that I am the login button. You may click on this. Login window will appear. And the <coughs> now, if you want to check this here, just click on motor, no operator or transition. Okay, then you can log in. And the one, and I select the hash list, and I just want to three. Let's see the manager name. Now you can change the picture. For the manager, do we have start stop command? No. You can go to login. Directly you can login. Start with the one. Now you can see how it will be logged. Manager will be logged out automatically. So you can start stop. Okay. Again, if I want to change the picture, thank you. Again, for the manager button. And again, for us is Login with the engineer. Someone has some time. <coughs> okay. This is about the administrator and 